Today we're checking out $3 million worth of new exclusive listings in Brooklyn's most sought after neighborhood, Brooklyn Heights. To get a two bedroom in that neighborhood at that price. It's really, really special living in it. Going up. Six four. Hello. Hi. Come on in. What's going on? The whole team's here. A new listing. This is 35 Clark Street, apartment F3. beautiful pre-work co-op. This mm -hmm. unit is a one bed, one bath. Just had some fantastic renovations. Let's walk Oh, You have this great little entryway. Really nice that it separates the living space from the hall. The owner did some cosmetic updating in the kitchen. It looks really great in here. I love that it has this window and you get this little peek of the downtown Brooklyn skyline, which is super fun. As you can see, this place is great if you want to entertain. This living room is super oversized. Giant window lets in a ton of light. Love these pre-war details, ton of molding, ton of sconces. They just updated the bathroom in the last year, so brand new. I think she did a really cool job, uh, you know, keeping that pre-war charm, but making it feel super modern. This bedroom is absolutely massive for New York, so this is a California king bed in here. And you still have room for a dresser, you have a walk-in closet, and you even have a spot for a working home area. I need a king bed. <laughs> <laughs> I think about, oh, I'm fine with a queen. Right. And then I see a king bed and I'm like, Matt, do you, you have a king bed? That's true. I don't have a queen. Nice. This would not fit in my apartment. How many square feet? What are we talking? So it is a co-op, so it isn't measured in square feet, but I would say it's probably somewhere north of 600. Super sizable for a one bedroom. Is this all stage or is this no, closet? It's the owner's furniture. Walk-in closet. Walk-in closet. Oh, this is amazing. What's the price on this again? So the price on this one, you're asking a 9 5 That's a steal. I yep. could move in here. Totally. <laughs> you need a client? You're looking for... I do. Do you just want to put in an offer? We can just get this wrapped up. Just put in an offer <laughs> right now. Huh? Mallory, what do you think? I love it. I love the lights. I love sconces. It's like very charming and I'm just really super into the sconces. We love a windowed kitchen. There's so much light in there. I think some upgrades to the kitchen recently. I like the pools. I just think it gives it a lot of charm, but also some updated feel. I love the ceiling height, hands down my favorite part of it. It gives a lot of natural light. It feels very homey. It feels cozy. It has a modern feel, but a timeless feel all at once. Brooklyn Heights has a lot of co-ops that have been around since the 1800s. That's a classic pre-war building. It's like mid-century, but just a different century. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of 1800s detail, this is one of my favorite features of any pre-war apartment, which is the picture rail. I am obsessed with this apartment. I love pre-war details. I love little Victorian touches. A lot of people are down on plaster walls. They don't like plaster walls because it's hard to hang pictures. It's hard to hang stuff. I love the plaster walls. And at 35 Clark, it's really great because you have the picture rail detail. And instead of having to hammer into the plaster and everything chips and shatters and it's a big mess, you just put a little clip you put some string or some wire and you hang your picture and then you can pick it up and you can move it down, move it to the other side of the house. It's a fun little low tech Victorian detail that I think brings some class from a bygone era into the modern world. Victorians knew all about, they had all sorts of technology when it came to fine art. Tuberculosis, not so much. My favorite part of this entire space is the bedroom. I think this is a California king, and you still have space for an office, and then you also have, I mean, look how deep the closet. So this one room has so much utility. Let's go, let's check this out. Windowed bathroom, look at this thing. They have a tub. Gray bathroom, lots of really nice finishes. Still have some original character, beautiful. What I love about these old co-ops is that every room has really nice size to it. There's a California king in there, it's huge. Mallory gave me this, by the way, so that means I could be on it. No. Mallory said it's not true. <laughs> Hold on, bro, I'll let you go. Me and him have a running joke that I'm not allowed on the, on the episodes. <laughs> He's been in every episode. He's been Easter eggs in every episode. This is the new Bogart New York. Do you know anything that could happen happened last year? We have a new creature. Hi. Today is finally the day. My name is Jeff. Here you get both bridges. Perfect.
I'm very excited to finally be introduced to you guys. My name is John, I get to introduce myself formally to you. I am one of the newer members of the Bogart New York team here at Sirhan. So this is my fifth year in real estate. I met Brandon and Mallory, I was on another team here at Sirhan prior. So it was a bit of a serendipitous meeting between Brandon and I. I was looking to join another team, reached out to Brandon directly and it was perfect time, perfect place. They were looking to expand the team. I was looking for a change of direction. We came together and it made sense. I'm super excited to be on the team here at Sirhant, my second year at Sirhant, and I I love it. Hot take, I think the TV is too big. <laughs> Lance turns around like you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm fired now. It is a large season. I like the large season. It's fun. Oh, cool. So we're at 111 Hicks Street, 17D. And this place is only $770,000. Oh, who is this? Rocco. Rocco, do you smell bolo? Rocco, sniff the mic if you want a treat. <laughs> What's that? What did you say? <laughs> this is the bedroom. So we're in Brooklyn Heights and we're facing the city. I don't know if you can see it. You'll probably find a way. You can see the Statue of Liberty. You can see Statue of Liberty. And if you come back over this way, you can also see the Freedom Tower in the, in the city skyline. $770,000? So $770,000. And you have one of the greatest views you can get in all of Brooklyn. Is this a king, queen? What are we talking here? It's a king. That's a king. But you could easily make a, you could fit a California King in here too. You could get even bigger. Walk in closet as well. And there's also this wonderful kitchen. And what's cool is if you notice the ceiling right here, and then this is a false ceiling. I mean, it's a false ceiling. Meaning the actual ceiling height's higher. They just closed this space off slightly. And so if you wanted to, not that it needs it, but you could knock this down and open up the, the kitchen itself and then have the healing ceilings be higher too. I can imagine being able to look out from the kitchen. And then you have this massive living room. It's kind of the perfect apartment, perfect one bedroom. What's your favorite thing about this apartment? I love the view. Yeah, the view and the location. View combined with the space, and then you, the view's kind of constant. So you get it from both the living room and the bedroom. What would you guesstimate the square footage is? Five, 75. Wait, it's a co-op, you don't know. But I have, an, I have a rough idea. 750 square feet, potentially. Yeah. Just people being crazy. Buyers just asking for the entire construction plans for a building before writing an offer. You can tell them that there's steel and concrete yes. between the floors. So I alluded to that, but re-emphasized. Yeah. Love a thick concrete. We love a stiff concrete floor. That's oh, what it is. you know about. Let me tell you something about sound transfer, specifically with small children <laughs> and why you want concrete between the floors. So I just got a text from my wife saying, I swear to God, it sounds like they are skateboarding upstairs. LOL. For context, uh, that is the six-year-old child that lives above me. Any advice to buyers, first time home buyers, make sure you listen to how loud it is, specifically in the bedrooms, because you don't wanna be woken up to the schedule of a toddler, especially if they're skateboarding. You can't hear the little run and then the fall. Run and the fall. Are you still hearing it? Of course. We are just talking about how some of the old buildings don't have concrete between the floors, and it means if there's not concrete between the floors, there's a lot higher likelihood that you can hear everything that goes on above you. Dear developers, do concrete between the floors. I like the broker. <laughs> He's cozy, just like this. <laughs> John. John. You're not taking it around with me. Well, I'm just not. Yeah, I You're getting an upgrade. Tell me about Brooklyn Heights. Brooklyn Heights is one of the most sought after neighborhoods in all of Brooklyn because of its proximity to Manhattan and also the views it provides. You can get an example of the views from this apartment. And then to get to Manhattan is like 15 minutes. So it's like perfect separation away from it. And so people tend to congregate here. This is how we wear it as if we're in the hospital. Oh no, it's like a little tag. I love Brooklyn Heights because of its proximity to New York. But then what I particularly like about this unit is you have the Brooklyn Promenade. So you have these crazy 
views of the river and of the Manhattan skyline from the bed. You can just be sitting on your bed and like looking at the Statue of Liberty, which I think is super special. We're on the 17th floor looking at Statue of Liberty. It's it's really, really special of a unit. And this neighborhood just has so many like beautiful buildings and townhouses. It's just like one of the best yeah. neighborhoods, I think, for like yeah. walking. It really feels like a neighborhood, like a true neighborhood. You could walk your dog without a leash like that. That speaks Thanks, to right? neighborhood to yeah. me. I live in Manhattan, so I'm like, ah. It's just much more refreshing and relaxed. I can't get over the views. I mean, all of lower Manhattan here, you have New York by Geary Building, you have Brooklyn Bridge. That's probably one of the best parts. I mean, other than the spaciousness of the unit. I like how quiet it is here too. You know, we don't have any traffic. We don't hear any traffic because we're so high. We have all these beautiful views, but in a very quiet setting. Hi. 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 Oh my God, my favorite thing, the Statue of Liberty. Anytime I'm on the F train or if I'm on a train and I can see the Statue of Liberty, I give her a little wave in my hand. <laughs> and I'm like, hey Libby. Aww. This got very music video. Add smoke machine. Add, add colored light. Add slow motion. Add slow mo. Add cool music. Please add a fan to my hair. <laughs> I hope I can figure out how to use all of this. I can't even walk straight. Add Mallory walking straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Come on in. Hi. Let me show you around. The team is still here. Yeah. You guys leave? Yes. Everyone's leaving. We saved the best for last, don't worry. Of course. Come on. Yeah. Why is he still here? <laughs> I want to be here. He's hanging out. This is the beautiful living space. The sunlight here in the morning is phenomenal. Seller here added this built in bookcase. They updated the bathroom. Mm -hmm. and they added a big closet in the second bedroom. All well, stage or is this just them? No, this is them. They made my job so easy. This is how they live and it looks absolutely perfect. So many cute nooks and crannies here. Mm -hmm. Little store, extra storage. This is a co-op, right? This is a co-op, yes. Yeah, so it's a two bedroom, one bath. And then in, you have two exposures in your primary bedroom, which is a real Treat. You got a square footage on this one? I'd say about 850 square feet. Oh, wait, Lucia, you mentioned this last episode. I set it off already. Yeah, we had one open house and a few private appointments. So in 10 days, we had an accepted offer. That's like that. It could have been accepted even faster than it could that. Have been. But she had promised certain people yeah. that had inquired at the beginning that she would get them in. Like we could have had an accepted offer probably in like, I don't know, five days. I brought oh, buyers yeah, to come and good. see it. And the amount of people intimidated them because like, there's no way we can compete. What's the price point on this? The asking was 1.1. 1.1? .1. It's cute, right? Yeah. Great value. That was three Brooklyn Heights co-ops. I didn't know they were all co-ops. They were all co-ops and our team is uh, taking over Brooklyn Heights. We have an accepted offer here, so I'm gonna ask you all to get out. We're oh. getting kicked out. It's going to be somebody else's. They're lucky. It's an yeah. amazing apartment. Between Lance's kitchen, Zach's views, Lucia's price point, I don't know which one's my favorite. I think all of them are amazing, but you tell me which one's your favorite. Leave them in the comments and thanks for watching the videos, guys.